Dear students, today we are going to study about the working of a DC motor. Before that, I am going to tell about the main parts of DC motor. Here we can see a pair of field magnets. Inside the field magnet, there will be an armature coil. The armature coil is connected with a pair of split ring commutator. Split ring commutator. And the split ring commutator is further connected with a pair of carbon brushes. Now, inside the split ring commutator, we can see an axle. An axle. And that is connected with a fan. When a current, a DC supply is given by this cell to this armature through this split ring and brush. Then the armature starts to rotate. Why this armature starts to rotate when current flows through it? Due to motor principle. When a current carrying conductor is placed inside a magnetic field, then there will be a force on the conductor. Here we can see two parts A, B and C, D. That is a current carrying conductor that is placed inside a magnetic field that is provided by the field magnets. So, due to motor principle, there will be a force at A, B and C, D. Due to that force, armature twisted or rotated. This couple of force, two equal and opposite forces are produced. That couple of force produces a net torque at this armature coil. Due to that net torque, armature starts to rotate. Okay.